college holds many mysteries for those who are looking to experience college. Whether they are a recent high school graduate or looking to further their education, our mission was to answer some of the many questions that people may have. First on the list, here are what the college students said about move-in. Just be clean, be a good roommate, um, you know, don't be annoying. I still get this secondhand feeling like when I worked move-in day, I still felt the feeling that I felt when I was a first year student because it's so much excitement and exhilaration because you're in a new place with the new people. It's like you get this feeling of like it's a time where you can like reinvent yourself and you can, but at the same time that is so like terrifying because like what if I don't know how to do that? What if I don't know who I am? There's just like this mix of the most excitement you've ever felt, but also the most nervousness you've ever felt. And it's just, that's what it feels like to be a first year student, just trying to make your way through. I was surprised at how much stuff people were wearing. I felt like I was underpacked. When researching different colleges, students often wonder about the resources available. Uh, the responsibilities of an RA are basically we are, we are a resource to the students. We are here to help you guys to make sure that you guys are staying safe, you guys are enjoying yourselves at college, but you're also being academically successful. We help maintain the buildings, we make them fun, we make the environment nice, we make events for all of you. We try to make sure that the environment is as enjoyable as possible. We make sure that the environment is fostering community and the goals that I previously stated. They have the writing uh, tutor groups. Um, those are really helpful. And uh, the professors are always open for office hours and they always want to talk, so that's really good. I do know at least the tutoring services on this campus are based on student progress. So they are rated on like a student comes in with an F and then they get their grade up to a C. Like that's what the tutoring center is <clears throat> like reviewed on, like that the students are actually improving. So based on that, I would have to say that they would be successful because there's a tutoring center, but they also have all different sorts of like departmental tutoring. Like I know the psych department has their own tutors, like the geography department I'm pretty sure has their own tutors. Um, but I think the whole thing with tutoring is that if a student is willing to seek out tutoring, then they already have this motivation and the want to do better, which I think also plays a big part in like grade improvement. So I think it's a lot of reasons all tied in. I don't think it's solely like whether the tutoring center is efficient, it's the students willing to seek them out and like try harder. I've tailored a lot of this to Shippensburg University, but that's just because like I can speak firsthand, like I can't speak firsthand for a lot of other colleges. But I think especially here at SHIP, is that like if you are struggling like academically, mentally, socially, this campus has so many resources set in place to see students succeed. So don't just sit back and suffer in silence and think that like life is just miserable and I'm not gonna have a good college experience. Because especially here at Chip, I've not met like one faculty member who genuinely did not want to see the students succeed. So if you reach out, they want to help you and there's so many resources that you probably don't even know about so you can get like the help you need. Of course, they provide many different tutors that are both students and teachers there. So you may have someone that knows exactly what you need help with and are able to help you. They provide every single resource they need. There are a lot of tutoring sessions that, you know, they. I don't know if they paid the tutors or whatever, but they had uh, university affiliated tutors, they were just students basically, that would assist students that were struggling in that, you know, that class, right, or that 
their specialty. Um, you know, they had, you know, like these, uh, what do you call them, like the, the writing assistants where you bring your paper there and they'll go over your paper. And, you know, so they, they did provide these services. We asked a high school senior their thoughts on college and had a Shippensburg student answer for them. I'm excited for the quote unquote college life. You know how people are like, but they always say that it's the experience that matters. I don't know what they mean by that when it's parties or just, or just like, I don't know. They never told me what that meant. The point of college life is the fact that you can make it whatever you want it to be. If you want to come to college and party Thursday through Sunday, like that's going to be your college life. If you want to be involved on campus and focus on academics and be in student government and join clubs and or be an orientation leader, like that's like your version of college life. So I think the whole point is that when you come to college, you can make your life what you want it to be. Shippensburg University has a student held position called Peer Anchor. Here is what one of the university's peer anchors has to say about how they can help incoming students. The technical role, honestly, I don't know, but I've kind of adopted like my own ideas of like what I want to provide for my, my class specifically. My goal is to get you guys in touch with the resources that are going to help you your entire career, like educational career here at CHIP because there's a lot of things that I didn't know about and I'm learning about as a peer anchor that could have helped me out when I was a first year student, but I didn't know about them so I couldn't seek them out. So I'm hoping to get you guys connected to the services that can help you succeed, but also give you guys like my point of view and like things that I've learned like firsthand, whereas like that's not something a professor can offer you, at least not for today's age and like this cohort of students. Dorm life is a major factor when living on campus. Dorm life is like living in a hotel with like three of your best friends. Uh, I really liked it because all my friends and I lived in the same dorm my first year. So we would have like movie nights and game nights and like we would check on each other and I was the one who didn't leave my dorm room because I was overwhelmed by work, so they would come drag me out of my room and tell me that I need to eat. So really, it was like a little, just like a little camp with your friends. And I remember describing it within like my first month here, just like feeling like I was at like camp. Like I didn't live here, I was just at camp with like my friends. But it sinks in pretty quick that like, you live here now, this is your everyday life. Communal bathrooms my freshman year, that was rough. Um, I had, my building at the time was only female housing, so it wasn't co-ed or anything, so you had hundreds of females just residing in one giant 10 floor building. It was not a good time with shared bathrooms. High schoolers often wonder the age old question about college, what is Greek life? Personally, I know I did. I firsthand don't have much experience with Greek life. However, I have talked to people who are the most down to earth, nice people who are like huge in their organization. So I think the main aspect for a lot of people is like the friendship, like in the bond that comes out of being in an organization like that. And like, I know when everyone thinks Greek life, they automatically picture partying red solo cups in a frat house. But there's also Greek life that they, like, they do a lot of like community service. They do like academic stuff. Like they're not all just social groups. Um, of course, there's probably people who do join um, fraternities or sororities solely for the party scene. But I think more so what draws people in is just having that bond of people that you can rely on and hang out with and just make memories with. Many people say high school did not prepare for college, 
We wanted to know if this was true. I think they're preparing us pretty all right. Like, I'm prepared to, well, take care of myself financially. They only prepared me for, honestly, knowing the general basics. And even then, classes they had to prepare you for college boiled down to, hey, do you know how to write an essay? They don't really talk about the personal experience and how you're supposed to deal with all the changes. High school prepared me for college in many different ways, but I will say that a lot of what you learn in high school is not the same that you learn in college, and there is a lot of rewriting and relearning that you are doing in order to advance in your college career, um, especially when it comes to English and writing papers. Uh, a lot of the math that we learn is a little bit different and you have to revise and relearn, so you have to be flexible. So, what does life after college look like? We asked a graduate what they thought. Everything that they tell you about needing to go to a college is a lie. I have buddies who have far better job prospects than I ever will with a master's degree and they don't have that $85,000 worth of student debt. So definitely don't go to college just because you feel like you have to. Let it be something you genuinely want to do. When asked about what students do on their off time, here's what some students said. I guess this is kind of a tailored answer to Shippensburg University, even though I know we're talking about colleges in general. But I've noticed that Shippensburg University hosts more events on the weekends, on weekends where they anticipate that more students are going to stay on campus. And I've heard through the grapevine that they intentionally tailor it this way to like counteract the party scene. So like, there's gonna be a lot more students, typically a lot more parties. Um, so they'll host like bigger events those weekends, whether it be like bingo. Bingo is a huge go-to here at SHIP, all sorts of different bingo, breakfast bingo, they've done like drag bingo, they've done like sex ed bingo, um, they've also done things like build a teddy bear, plant a succulent. Shippensburg is pretty good about holding events on the weekends, but also of course it's a small town so there's a lot of like outdoorsy things, parks, walks, the rail trail, and then other than that just like eating arugas, the select diner. I think they try to host like fun events, like some of them may come off childish like bingo, but like you also got to remember that they're trying to host events not for like 20 people, like it's got to be like an upward probably they plan of like two or three hundred people. So I think they try to do things that'll be like really fun for us, especially like APB here at SHIP. APB has like a big budget, so they host some pretty big events with like some good prizes. And that's another thing, a lot of the events they host are free to you, but also you get like a chance to like either get free stuff or win free stuff. So that's cool. Of course, you'll make some lifelong memories such as... One person in my college emails they added everyone that had the name Grant, first or last name, and made an entire email thread where they warned every single Grant about phishing links. And we referred to each other solely as Grant. It's hilarious. The most interesting one is actually from my dad when he was an RA. Uh, so when he, he was in college, he was just in his dorm, he was looking into homework and whatnot, and so he starts hearing this clang, clang, clang like out in the stairwell he comes out he goes into the stairwell he looks down and there are a bunch of groups of students they all scamper away but there's this one he's slowly dragging up a stop sign up the stairs it's not just the sign it is the whole pole and not just the pole but the ground attached to the pole and he is trying to drag it up the stairwell he says hey and the guy goes and it, like he's obviously under the influence of something. He goes like, drop it. So he goes, drop it and he goes, clang! <laughs>
<laughs> so he's like, come with me. <laughs> and then they have to go up and then he went through student conduct or something, but very funny. My roommate and I snuck a hamster up into our sophomore year dorm. And um, that same day, before we got, okay, let me back up here. First, we went to go pick up this hamster. We snuck the hamster in and it died. Um, then we went to go get another hamster from PetSmart and then we got into a car accident. But then we got the hamster, a new hamster, and we called it Crash. And then we snuck that one alive into the sophomore year dorms. I had to do a public speaking class and the kid in front of me, he was a hard act to follow because we had to do, I, I used to and now I blank speech. And his was the best because it was, I used to hate public speaking, now I hate it even more. So how could I follow up with that? What made me excited for it is just being able to finally do what I want to do in life, learn stuff that applies more to me rather than the gener generic public. I feel like going to a college just makes it better specifically for me for what I want to do. When I was doing my first human service class, it was, um, we were given a project that we needed to do, which was a 30 page portfolio, which I have never done before. And I'm a procrastinator, so I waited until the very last minute and um, had to write 30 pages based off of uh, the different techniques used in counseling. That was a fun experience. I ended up getting a 98 on it. Be prepared for the workload to demand more from you because in high school a lot of the work is easy. Some people say high school is pretty hard but in reality it really isn't compared to high college. Enjoy what you're doing and even if you are feeling like it is difficult and you are having a hard time, take a deep breath, walk away, come back. Make sure you know what you want to do when you're going into it. If you don't then it's fine but it's always a good idea to have a few paths in mind when you're entering college. The main thing that I would suggest is you need to make friends very quickly because the longer that you wait the harder it will be to make friends. So go to events, go to clubs, go to try to experiment with different extracurricular activities. That is very key uh, early on in college. Um, it can be very confusing, so whenever you can, try to ask questions, there's resources around. Talk to your RA, talk to your professors, just never be afraid to ask questions. Pack all your stuff for the day, so you don't have to go back to your dorm and get all your stuff in between classes. Just pack everything that you're going to need for the day. You don't want to go to an overhydrated market when you graduate college, right? And, and I don't like seeing anybody struggle to find a job, especially when they have great knowledge on, on specific uh, or, or, or these these fields that might not be considered as necessary or overhydrated. Um, so I, I would definitely recommend um, do your research up front, make sure college is for you, um, and college isn't it for everybody.